Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're back with Noah outside of the brewery, loaded up on booze, bottles, and food. Glorious, glorious food. And apparently, I think it was us just coming down off our booze, so perhaps we might end up drinking some more. Thankfully, we can't become addicted. We are going to need to have a decent amount of it to try and put all of these horrible sights out of our mind, and there have been quite a few horrible sights, but there might be even more today. And so with that, let's dive on in. Okay, and I do want to see exactly what that noise was. I think, yeah, it was our vodka running off. We still had a little bit of vodka kicking about before. Uh, and that means that, yeah, we are, we're, we're feeling it a little bit at the moment. Everything's quite heavy. Uh, we do probably have a little bit of junk that we can break. Actually, no, you know, we don't. Uh, we have some steel. I was going to make some caltrops. We're actually just going to drop that instead. Uh, steel is very, very easy for us to come across. What I'm wanting to look for while we're out and about today is some wood, because if we're going to make it back to our little home to do some cooking, we're going to need wood to be able to do it. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a search for wood in and around here. Surprising considering we've got like flaming barrels and everything like that, but unfortunately we can't use fire from there. And so we're going to need to try and find some wooden things as we're out and about today. And we might try and take a slightly wider arc around this way to try and find our way back home. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm very, very glad that they didn't touch them. I'm supposing that this might be from Murder Church, and maybe they were trying to keep the ghouls in the, uh, in the brewery here. Now, whether or not we can stop that in time, I don't know if I want to risk it. In saying this though, like with Raphael, I did stop a few mines and we we're okay, so we might be able to. If I'm quick and nimble on my feet, we might be able to do this. <laughs> it is quite a risk though. Um, let's take it. Let's take that risk. I'm going to be spamming E. We'll take a deep breath. Not that it's going to help much as well. I'm going to use a bandage now because we're a little lower on health. Um, this will literally do nothing if we fail this, so... Let's go in, nice and quick. Oh! Okay, it's possible. We just have to be very quick to get in there and to disarm it. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, we got ourselves a mine. <laughs> That's something. That's one little small victory that we'll take for now. And we're gonna keep that in our inventory and we'll keep on moving towards the murder church. I say murder church because there's a body out the front of it. I'm making assumptions about the church and those might be true. I'm getting a, a very uneasy feeling being around here. I'm not a fan. Hanging bodies, never a good sign. This is kind of semi close to where we're living. So, could be bad people, could be good people. Who knows? I think, I think as soon as you start hanging people up like that, I think that's generally a bad sign. Maybe they're not bad people, but maybe they're trying to scare away other people. Who knows? But in the eyes of Noah, that is, uh, that's a big negative. I mean, I'm not seeing any welcome signs here at all, and, uh, certainly doesn't seem welcoming. I saw someone moving along here. Now, if there are people here, there's a chance that they could actually have, uh, like a, a proper cook station. Or other things like that. Yeah, there's definitely someone running, or well, actually, no, it's a ghoul in the distance. So I don't want to be shifting every single persecuted ghoul out of their home, but at the same time... See, we've been found by someone now. Ah, oh, hi, 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 hi. Yeah, just chill. I'm not going to do anything. They're both ghouls. Yeah, I'd feel bad. Hey, 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 I need you to stop, stop. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's good. Now go. Get out of my way. You can come back later, but I might need to use some of your stuff. So you should start moving, if you can. Yeah, you can't path out of here, can you? Well, you found your way eventually, didn't you? Ooh, I, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll take the gear. There's still one more over there. I don't, I don't want to kill these people. I think... I think maybe they're doing this, they're hanging people up to try and scare humans away. 
He dropped his bat. Oh no, and saying that, there's a dead person on the ground. This is kind of changing how I feel now. Oh shit, there's a few of them here. One of them just saw me. Hey. I just talked to your friend before. Uh, and uh, uh. Yeah, you stop. Okay. And Get go. Get out of my sight. You can come back later once I'm gone. And there was another one around here somewhere. You there, yeah, with the bat. Don't do anything stupid. Same with you. Go, get out of here. They're all ghouls. Get out of my sight. I can't see any others right now. No, I can. You there. Behind the pole. Don't move. You the last one? Good. Go. Out of my way. I'm gonna hope that's the last person here. We don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. Well, blood wasn't spilled, and that's a good thing for us, a good thing for Noah. I don't know if they killed this survivor, or if he was moving in here to try and kill them. I'm gonna take his blood pack, though. He can keep everything else. And they got a gun bag. Am I gonna take their ammunition? Yeah, I am. We can keep the gun. We're gonna need it more than them. They can come back to here. They can they can live in this place. We don't have anywhere to live right now. There might be more of them inside here. Could very well be. Let's move a little faster. Ah, oh, shit. There is still one more. There you are. Don't move. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There's always one. She's not gonna leave. We might be able to move around her. But if she comes for us... Getting a bad feeling here. Yeah, just take that bad feeling and walk away. Shit. Son of a bitch. She's so close now. So nearly there? found us then. I'm not wanting to kill her. Let's do this. Fine. You made this happen though. <sighs> Fuck, they're gonna come back and find this now. We need to hide her body. The blood, the blood we can't hide, but we might be able to hide her, move her somewhere else. I think it's the right thing for us to do right now. It's not exactly the most disres- well, not the most respectful thing for us to do with their body, but... If the others come back, we don't want them to find her. Especially after we're gone. It's the last thing Noah wants. Yeah, I know. She didn't leave us with a choice, we were cornered. Kind of had no option. At least that's what we're going to be telling ourselves tonight. Okay. You know what? I feel like we need to. Yeah. Okay. We might as well move around the rest of this place and see what we've got. No wood. No fire. Not yet. Ah, uh, this is where we are. Okay, I recognize this now. Home is just over that way. Close up shop for now. I don't know if we want to go inside here. Old high school, maybe. If we can get others to leave, then it could work out in our favor. I think it's worth a try. But if anyone else is like her and takes a stand, well, it can get complicated. Okay, this sounds like someone's working. 
Kim station or something. Okay, let's go nice and quiet. Just after wood. That's it. Wood or a fireplace. Okay, it sounds like they're up the top. Or they could be through here. Okay. They've got some glowing stuff. Take it if I can manage though. God, that's bright. I'll take the lighter, it's lightweight and it's oil. And gold. Just cigarettes. Yeah, more of them. Of course, there's a high school. Smoking in the toilets. Was a high school. Now it's just bones. Uh, we're a little hungry. We could maybe get away with just eating some Danny Boy apples now. Um, things, things that are, you know, we can eat raw. Okay, peckish. That's right. Why are you sniffing the air? That's creeping me out. Okay, it's upstairs. Okay. Statue. We've got a folder. Um, Raider pieces, okay. More statues. Sounds like this guy might be alone. <sighs> don't, don't want to kill him. But I will if we have to. Let's try and search these other ones. Oh, hang on. Pitch frame, that's wood. Perfect. Can I get that one as well? Okay. Yeah, we'll take we'll take all of them. Because we can break them all down into wood. We've got what we came for, but at the same time... Uh, I want to see what else we can find here. Teacups. Cans. I think they stopped using the station. Well, our bourbons run off. I think, I think we're gonna take some more. Throw back a beer while we're here. And we're peckish. Or parched. Buddy, don't move. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, son of a bitch. Do you have friends? You by yourself? Let's do this. Let's not. You have a choice. Son of a bitch. Come on then. <sighs> we can't hide them. Not as easy. Henry Burwell. I'm sorry, Henry. I really am. We'll take your journal though. We'll sit back and read it if we can. Henry. Used to be that the stars told stories. The past, the present, the future. All was written, if you knew how to read them. But then we blocked them out with our bright city skylines in an endless stream of headlights. You'd have to go really deep off the beaten path to find a nice spot to stargaze. But then the night of the 23rd, they all came back 
like the flip of a switch. There was a sad beauty there. I'm sorry, Henry. I really am. Okay. Henry might still have some more people here. We need to know for certain. Both of these are clear. His other friends, his other survivors are going to come back. They're going to find him and find, well, the other woman missing. And this is where he was living. Fertilizer. Chem station. Lock safe. And what did we kill him for? Nothing. There was nothing else here. We should have left. He was just trying to defend his own home. It's not going to be an easy night for Noah. Not at all. We'll see you around. In our dreams, no doubt. Well, we have what we came for. Wood. Enough to start a fire. Enough so that we can cook and rest in the beds that we have back at our little temporary home. We'll take it. Yeah, sun's already starting to set, so we need to get a move on. It should be back this way. We'll still try and go a little quietly if we can. And to think our home is the one that's covered in bodies. Yeah. I could have made a little fire kit there, but I think we'll just use our... We'll use our little portable kit to make one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that thing down for now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, and we can make ourselves a fire kit. Here we go. Good enough to make another one as well, but I think we have enough for now. Okay. And, um, while we're here, I probably am going to, uh, scrap what little we have left, but, uh, I'll go ahead and activate this first. Relight the fire. We'll just let it catch. Our ale has worn off. And let's get crafting. Okay, so, we should be able to roast quite a few things here. Okay, so we're going to be able to make a decent amount of Blamco here. Here we go. We've got some Cram. Go ahead and cook that. Salisbury steak. That's a lot food-wise. Now, water, we are going to go and fill up some more of our bottles. It's going to take a fair bit of our, well, supplies to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I knew we had a whole heap of stuff in here. Unfortunately, when the fire's out, though, you can't access it. I think maybe when you take it back, you can. We're going to store all of our junk for now and take back just our bottles. So, beer bottles, bourbon, just go through, Gwinnett Brew, all of you guys, Nuka bottles, rum, and vodka. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to be rather full on stuff when we come back with that. Let's get a move on. We've got water down this way. Let's just stay prepared to defend ourselves should we need to. There we go. It's not exactly the nicest spot in the world, but we'll get filling bottles. We should hopefully be able to get something from this. Um, you know what? While we're here, let's let's have some of that food to eat. Um, what do we want to have? The cooked Salisbury steak still gives us a fair amount of rads. So does the uh, the mac and cheese. This should fill us up though, and it doesn't. So yeah, there we go. That's good. Uh, what about some cram? Properly fed. There we go. We take it. Okay. If we can find a location, if we can find somewhere naturally in game where we can get rid of our rads, we'd be pretty damn happy. But for us to kind of get to those places, it's not exactly easy. It's done like that by purpose. Okay. Let's get moving. Hoof it on back. We'll cook up as much as we can with the bottles that we have there. 
Okay, so we can make beer. And we can make some of the nuka ones. Okay. That's something. But we're still gonna lose a lot of bottles by doing this. Um, luckily beer is the one that we have the most of. So we still got an okay amount of boiled water there. Okay. So we still have dirty water, um, among the others, but... That's still gonna be better than nothing. So we can get ourselves hydrated, at the very least. Let's go drink ourselves some boiled water. Boiled with a B. There we go. Okay, probably hydrated. Whew, that's good. But as you can see, there are they are still kind of separated. We need to have three of each before we can actually use them, so... Yeah, a little sucky. But I, th I think I'm going to be okay with just drinking dirty water. Um, you know, at the risk of getting an infection. Just because boiling it just doesn't seem to work out for us at the moment. Um, now, we... We do need to rest, but I'm thinking, seeing as we actually have a decent amount of food in the rest at the moment now, we might be able to try and get rid of some of our rads. We do have... We do have another fungal purge. What is our health at the moment? Let's just have a quick look. Uh, 52. Not enough. We need to have at least 60, I believe, is what we want to go for. So we are going to have to either... We're going to have to drink some more booze to be able to get ourselves up a little bit higher. Other option is that we go ahead and use... The, uh, no... If we do this, we are going... Well, we can we can use buff out as well. It's going to make us thirsty. Um, it gives us a decent amount of extra HP. So we would be able to go and use that. I think that's probably the faster route for us to go. Use some buff out, get a little parched, that's okay. If we go back and check our HP now, we have more than enough to be able to take our fungal purge. So we do it. We're dehydrated and we're hungry. So now we need to deal with that. So let's go ahead have some, our last bit of boiled water that we have. Okay, still thirsty. Have some of that. Okay, so you see we're still thirsty after that. Um, parched, okay. Well, we need to have something to eat, so let's have some of the Blamco. Yeah, I know, we're taking some rads. Bit of it's still peckish. And now we're properly fed. And uh, we've almost gone and eaten all the food that we had. I know, it's pretty wild. But we did get some bottles back then, so we're gonna quickly run back and attempt to use those to get ourselves hydrated. Come on. There we go. Okay, so the beer I think we're going to be able to do. The others we aren't, unfortunately. Okay. Let's get it cooking. Yeah, we can just do beer. And we can only make one thing of beer. Welcome to my hell. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I find it amazing that there still isn't a, uh, a mod that just gives our bottle, gives us bottles back from crafting. No, there is nothing that does that yet. Uh, which I find kind of amazing. We can get some water cans though, so that's, that's something. We can get some water that way. Um, however, obviously those cans are going to disappear as well, so we'll go ahead and grab those get some water from that because we are still thirsty um yeah i i think we might just have to go with getting parasites and stuff um because i don't think we can sustainably keep on boiling water like this we've got a lot of dirty water i don't know how like yeah i i just think it's better than dying just drinking dirty water and i don't know how many ill effects we can get how many illnesses we can get from it but i think it's gonna be worth it i know it sounds crazy but Otherwise, we just, we're, we're, we're gonna be hunting bottles constantly. And I find doing little bits of that is okay, but if we're doing that every single episode, the whole episode revolves around just hunting for bottles, it gets kind of old. Um, now, I th is the purge still working or is it done? That's what we need to see. Uh, I think the purge is done, so that's all it's been able to give us. It's better than nothing. We can have a little bit to drink before we go to sleep, but the problem with that is that it is going to make us more dehydrated. Because drinking beer dehydrates us. Um, it's going to give us more bottles to use. Um, so I think what we might end up doing is like drinking a beer or two. Let's, let's go wild tonight. Get some more rants taken off us. 
And it's also going to help with our sanity. And then we're going to go to sleep and try and sleep throughout the night. Um, I don't think we're going to... Yeah, I don't think we're going to boil it anymore. I think we're just going to be drinking dirty water from now on. I know, I, I know that sounds super counterintuitive to do in a survival game, but um, I don't think we have any other option at the moment. Uh, but we need to get some HP back, and... I want to sleep in a proper bed. I am afraid of rad storms. They could completely undo everything that we've done. But, at the same time, I want a proper sleep. I want a proper, full-on eight hours of sleep. So please don't kill us. Or at least wake us up when loud thunder and lightning and all that stuff starts kicking about. Okay. Okay, we're all right. <sighs> and we actually feel well sh well rested. Okay. It's, uh... What is the time? That was... Yeah, 5 a.m. Okay. 5 a.m. Now, that's completely out. Uh, we want to make sure that we pick up our cook... Oh, there's still the stuff in it, though. What are we going to do about that? We can't just keep the junk in it. First thing we need to do is try and break down stuff. Um, yeah. Let's start by doing that. We're going to drop our scavenger's toolbox on the ground. And just start doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of management at the moment. So, we're going to have to take everything back. Oh, we can't use it. We can't take the stuff out of it. Really? Pick up a cook pot? What happens to everything that's inside of it? Because that's... Is it just gone? It's just gone. I think we lost everything. Okay. Cool. Um, so that means that we've got no other junk other than just our bottles. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because um, I can't just place down the, the cook pot by itself. Uh, so that's obviously a problem. You need to make sure that you grab things out of the cook pot before you extinguish the fire. It's a shortcoming of the mod. So let's go pick that up. Pick this up. And we're going to be getting a move on. Leaving this place behind. Now there is a little bit more to the brewery. A little bit more that we might be able to explore there. I think that's what we're going to do. We might not be able to do too much of that today, but at the very least we'll be able to start heading in that direction. Because the restaurant was good to us. It was very good. And uh, there's a chance that could continue. But we need to go back through, uh, well, the little mess that we caused. So yeah, we're still thirsty. Um, I'm going to start drinking dirty water now. <laughs> and we're just going to have to go with whatever um, illnesses we get from that. Okay. Probably hydrated. Okay. So, yeah, we're taking a risk. We're, we'll be rolling the dice, essentially, each time we do that. But, uh, I don't think we have any other choice right now. Yeah, anyone come back? No. Good. No one came back for you. Okay. Yeah, back over here. Just make sure that no one else has uh, sneakily laid mines while we've been walking. We're okay. We're safe. For the time being. Okay. So I want to see what we have around the back of here. Have we got any more ghouls? We've got ammo boxes. I'll take you. I don't think we'll have much use for you, but we'll take you. I think um, what we're going to do with our weapons is that we're going to have much more of an approach of pick it up, chuck it down. Like once we run out of ammunition for something, we just throw it on the ground. Um, so really going off the idea of using what we have. Um, so if we use all the rounds for this gun, we just drop it on the ground, we move on, we pick up another one. Have a very disposable um, outlook when it comes to weapons. We've got more gore bags. So this, uh, ghoul settlement continues. And I actually believe that's still part of the... Uh, part of the brewery as well. Hello, little one. Um, okay, okay, that sounds like a mute crab. So we're gonna go to Keltrops. Oh! Oh god! Son of a bitch! Look at that! You see that? Did you see that? And folks ask why I'm afraid of them. We didn't get poisoned. We didn't get poisoned, which is amazing. I don't know why we didn't get poisoned. 
We're very lucky that we didn't, but as you can see, we nearly got killed and he tore our arm off. Uh, we've got no more arm. It's just missing. It's completely gone. Uh, we can fix that by sleeping. Uh, oh, that's such a pain in the ass. What the f... f uh, what? I'm very happy we didn't set that off. Um, okay. Yeah, the, pl the place is definitely mined. <laughs> Um, now that ran through there, so we know that we can do that at the very least. But we're not- we're not very healthy right now. We're gonna go and have ourselves a good old, um, bandage. We've got some Stimpmax, but screw using those because they make us thirsty. Okay, we've got eggs. Um, I'm just gonna use the Caltrops, if I see it wriggle. Nice and easy. Okay. Ooh, thank you, and thank you. Okay, uh, we need more of those to be able to make omelets. I think it's the rule of three, but um, that's still kind of good. Don't think we can walk around there. And uh, well, the brewery continues. There is more of it, and we'll actually be able to find more bottles inside here, I would think. And so we definitely want to check it out. But uh, we are injured. Um, we've got a wrecked arm, which does not bode well for us using weapons. And I don't know what we're gonna find inside there. But guys and gals, we're gonna find out together in the next. So thank you for once again joining myself and Noah. A, well, unfortunately injured Noah now. Yes, we are always close to death in this, guys and gals. I know it's very easy to forget that, and sometimes all it takes is one silly mistake. If we were ended by a mute crab, I would never have forgiven myself. <laughs> but that's how the cookie crumbles. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.